Hi, fellow white people. on this woman I have never met someone that is this idiotic this woman has done it she has broken me she has made me snap and quite frankly I feel like I want to start murdering puppies right in front of people why because this person is idiotic! I will not be making a video, special, whatever. You know, this needs to be done. This person needs to be exposed to the goddamn world as the dumbest human on the planet. And that is saying a lot. Candy Kale 10. Yes, he's a complete idiot. He's a brainwashed child. But he has a mental disability. So I can give him a pass. I can give Chris Chan a fucking pass as well. He has a mental disability as well. I can give even Anita Sarkeesian. A pass. Because at least with Anita Sarkeesian, she tries her very best to sound intelligent. But this person does not have a mental disorder. But you wish this person was meant, you know, has a mental handicap. Because it, it, you would actually feel sad that you're making a video on someone that's mentally retarded, but this is a functioning human being. And I am making this video because this person is one of the dumbest people I have ever come across. I really hope Skeptor or Saga of Akkad, I am begging anyone who has a much more larger channel than I have to make a video response to this person. She deserves every ounce of hatred on this planet. Let's stop idling. We need, I, I need to make a video about her. And for the sake of everybody's sanity, let us hope that I do not need to make another one. Let's begin, shall we? Okay, now we need to remember that there's still a ton of more stuff to do and let's not get distracted about the Charleston shooting and police brutality and everything that's wrong with our country. Let's start with existence! And the world. I wanted to make a video talking specifically to my fellow white people because we white people seem to be doing a lot of celebrating of the same-sex marriage stuff. Yeah, it's mostly because religious people are finally realizing, huh, I guess being gay doesn't really have any negative effects. And there still are people out there who are homophobic, so it's mostly because of their religious beliefs. So we should be celebrating that, right? But let's also remember that we're incredibly racist people and we live in a white supremacist culture. Yeah, 
have a, a black president. He may not be the best president, but he is black. And people didn't vote for Barack Obama because he was black. It's because he, at the time, was better than his opponent. But even so, we, you say, we're living in a white supremacist country despite blacks having the exact same rights as whites since 1960. That we have major universities based off uh, famous black people. Including, but not limited to, Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King Jr. <sighs> and Malcolm X. There are many, many blacks out there who are rich, famous, powerful, could get any woman in the world. And we still living in a white supremacist country on a scale to one to holy shit how stupid are you and let's stop it let me tell you something it's our job as white people not to be racist are you willing the exact same thing towards germans to jewish people it's our moral obligation. We can talk all day about internalized racism in the black community and respectability politics and whatever, but the truth is white people and white people alone are responsible for racism. That's right. White people cause racism. Not ignorant fuckwits of any color is responsible for racism. It is white people's fault. We cause racism. And we're supposed to believe that you yourself is not a racist. That you cannot be racist towards white men. You are completely idiotic. You are racist. Regardless of whether or not you believe that the dictionary definition of, of racism does not apply towards white, ra white men. You are the worst human being I have ever come across with. We did this. We enslaved people. We created white supremacy. We benefit from white supremacy. If uh, someone needs to teach you history 101 because you know nothing about history. Slavery existed way before slavery in America. It goes back to the prehistoric ages. Around the time where people were building pyramids. Even the Jews owned slaves at one point. Everyone owned a slave, and everyone, every race, used to be a slave. Slavery is now outlawed pretty much everywhere. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, if there is a place that, you know, is accepting towards slavery, let me know. But slavery existed way before then. You know what else? <laughs> we may, white people may have benefit from white supremacy, but there were white people also against this ideology. There were white people working with black people in order to create the underground railroad in order for people to be, for, for, in order to free the slaves. You should do your history lesson. I mean, do, do your history, please. All white people, or even a majority of white people, all decided to stop being racist. 
there wouldn't be racism. You imbecile. Racism still exists, but within a small minority. That's That small minority includes the KKK. We all decide to deconstruct and to create a system that doesn't benefit us over other people, then white supremacy would vanish. The system would crumble. But the system's still here. How exactly? How? I explain. And that's how I know a lot of you white people are not doing your work. Yes, put all blame on all white people because some motherfucker who happens to be white killed a bunch of black people, therefore it must be the white man's fault! It's morally wrong not to care about this. It's selfish and it's pretty f***ing disgusting. We have the privilege of ignoring racism because it doesn't affect us, and so to get through life we never really have to think about it. But if we don't, we're not good people. We still white supremacist country because a bunch of black people died because of one asshole! That's it. You know. <sighs> and that's just the truth of it. I'm sorry. And whatever, we can get into a philosophical debate about morality. You debating? You admit in your, in your last video that you're not the type of person to accept outside criticism. Despite the fact that thousands, that many, many YouTubers have made their video responses towards you. And all you have done is straw man them. You are the last person on earth that is going to debate. Anita Sarkeesian is more likely to debate than you will. And like who creates morality and stuff. But you're hurting people. People are dying. People are impoverished and not living in safe conditions. And yeah, um, you know, this is true for men, you know, lots and lots of men, especially white men. And, um, here's the thing, you don't really care much about the men. See, only 10% of homeless shelters is for men, despite the fact that about 60 to 80% of men, I mean, 60%, 60 to 80% of homeless people are men. You couldn't give a rat's ass about men. You only care about minorities. That's all you care about. You are a racist piece of filth. And or you say that men have it all good. Here's a clip from Sargon's video. So 97% of combat fatalities, yeah, that's bad. 97% of alimony, that's bad, but you'll probably be alright in both of those. 94% of work suicides, well, maybe. I wouldn't rule that out. 93% of work fatalities, hey, that's definitely something that's a risk for you now. 81% of all war deaths, probably not, let's be fair. Custody and 84% of divorces, probably not going to be your problem. 80% of all suicides are men. Well, you are now in that category. 77% of all homicides victims are men. Again, you're in that category. 89% of men will be the victim of at least one violent crime. Just you wait. Men are over twice as victimized by strangers as women. Men are 165% more likely to be convicted than women, yeah? Men get 63% longer sentences than women for the same crime. Court bias against men is at least six times bigger than racial bias. Ooh. Males are discriminated against in school and university. That's true. Boys face vastly more corporal punishment than girls, yeah? 60 to 80% of the homeless are men, yeah, that's true. Women's cancers receive 15 times more funding than men. So, you know, let's hope you don't get cancer or at least... Cancer doesn't recognize your transition. At least 10% of fathers are victims of paternity fraud. Hey, that's probably not going to be your problem. And one third of all fathers in the USA have lost custody of children and most are expected to pay for this. Well, again, that's probably not your problem either. So, you know, I mean, there are some things in this list of, you know, hard sexisms, not soft sexisms, that uh, that don't apply to you. So that's that's okay. That's That's just fine. And you're just like hurting a lot of people's feelings. That's even enough for me to care. And so hurting people is wrong. Unless, of course, you're a cisgender white man, then go fuck yourself. I feel pretty confident in that statement. I'd love to hear your argument. You don't window you listen to people's arguments. You just ignore 
you don't you don't you don't even bother to read. You just ignore any form of criticism whatsoever. This is the fifth video I have to make on you. And I am 100% convinced that the next video that you're going to make, I'm going to have to make a video about you. I am seriously going to create a show based on you. You know, the Shitting Brit Show, where I make a video about how idiotic you are. You are on par with Chris Chan. You are on par with Gorgeous George. You are on par with Candy Kill 10, but all three of these people have mental disabilities. You should have no excuse. So white people, here it goes. We were all raised in a system that favors us. Before you get all defensive and start typing things, I'm not saying that your life isn't hard. I'm not saying that you don't have hardships. I'm not saying you don't go through shit. We all go through shit. We all have pain. You, you name yourself, oh shit, Brett, why the fuck are you censoring yourself? Continue. Mm. That's part of life. And I'm not saying that you don't have other intersections of oppression, but getting defensive about these things in a discussion purely about race is annoying. When using more cute people that we are living in a white supremacist country. Yeah, we should get defensive about it. Everyone should be defensive about it. You are a complete imbecile. I cannot, st I can't stop insulting you. I just can't. It's just not possible not to insult you. And it's harmful because in discussions about race, we're talking about race. We're not talking about gender or sexual orientation or your cat that got run over by a car. I'm a white person, and recognizing my standing in society because of that has been a process. It's taken a while, and it's been a lot of hard work. And I'm telling you that it's not easy, but it's the right thing to do, and it's your responsibility. It's your civic duty, if you want to call it that. And it's something that should have been done a long time ago in white culture, after slavery, or before slavery, so slavery didn't f happen. That would have been ideal. But it... It's never happened. We've never had a cultural awakening in the white culture where we've been like, oh, look, we're like running the world and f it up. Let's stop. The same could be said for any country in the world. That includes Nazi Germany. It's going to require a lot of honesty. You got to be truthful with yourself and with other people. And you can't like live in this defensive web of like your ego. And <laughs> you should take your own advice. You never listen to criticism. You're full of yourself. You're one of the most narcissistic pers people I ever met on YouTube. Taking everything personally. But being authentic in that way is really liberating too on a personal level. Deconstructing the system in our minds is simply the right thing to do. But if you need a selfish reason, do it because you want to feel balanced and at peace and aware of the world. So I titled this video, Collecting My White People. And what I mean by that is I want to start having genuine and productive talks. Women, I know you well, way too well. You don't want to start a discussion. And if you did, you'd be accepting criticism, okay? But instead, you want people to just agree with you. Your version of discussion is basically people stretching your freaking ego. You want to start a general discussion? Then start looking at people's YouTube videos. Start looking at my videos. I've made at least five videos. Come on. If you're a fan of old shit bread, tell her. Tell her this. That she needs to watch my videos criticizing her. Please. So, I think that's a rare occurrence, and I commend the guy who did that, and anybody who does that. But there are other ways in our personal lives to fight the system, and that's the dialogue that I want to start. So if you have any ideas or questions or want to start a discussion, 
you can do that in the comments below or on my Facebook page or any of my social media accounts and those are all in the description below. But you won't respond to any forms of criticism. We know you, oh shit Brett. The only people that you're going to allow discussions with is the ones who already agree with you. The truth is we're all a part of the system in some ways. Some people benefit more from it, some people benefit less. But we all, in order to survive, have to have some sort of foot in the system. And so I don't know, maybe a good exercise is to sort of like sit there and be like, okay, in what ways am I contributing to the system? In which ways am I benefiting from the system? And in which ways can I sort of bend my position here and throw a wrench in it all? Essentially what I'm saying is the first step in changing things is deconstructing your privilege, analyzing, and breaking it down. Okay, let's start with yours. Uh, you, as a woman, get 63% less prison time than that of a man for the exact same crime. You, as a woman, do not need to go to war. Men do. When it comes to divorce courts, it's completely biased towards men. You are most, like, most likely going to win. In the rare case that a man gains child custody, um, he will not receive as much support as that of a woman. There are laws protecting women. There are more laws protecting women than laws protecting men. Men make about 60 to 80% of the homeless, and only about 10% are for men. The homeless shelters are for that for men. You are completely privileged when it comes to men. It's super color, fragilistic, patriarchal bullshit. Yes, even the sound of it is quite a oh, horseshit. If you say it loud enough, it'll still sound like bullshit. Super califragilistic patriarchal bullshit.